When given the choice between people and plans, God always chooses people because people are the plan. Here's the temptation in this world. Everything's bad. My plans are falling apart. You know what? I'm just not going to have anything to do with people because stuff's going on and we forget that people are the plan for God the whole time. See, at Church in the Wild, the community is the mission at Church in the Wild. That's easy for me to forget. I can get so wrapped up in, we got to get this done in this timeline, this done in this time. I got to get these two curtains up. I got to get this up. We got to move this. We got to put the chairs away that I can forget that people are actually the mission. And I can get so wrapped up in my plans that I can forget that my plans as a believer, as a follower of Jesus, my plans are about people. Think about God creates this perfect universe, and what happens? People ruin the plan. So what does God do? Start a new universe without people? No. He comes to the universe and changes his plans for the people because people are the plan. So you ruin my plans for a perfect universe. I'm going to send my son to die for you. You're ruining the plan. I, I, I sent my son for you. You killed him. I'll send my Holy Spirit to help the church grow. You're ruining it again. I'll come back for you someday because I will never leave you or forsake you. People are the plan of God. And it's so easy when things go bad to say, I'm just going to cut people out and I'm going to leave people to the side and I'm not going to have anything to do with them. But for God, when, when God had to choose between people and plans, he chooses people because the people are the plan. 